So like, what would your message be to your, your family and your friends and your companions, the people that you love and care about? What's your message to them that when they're listening right now? Okay. Let me start, let me start with, with my family. You know, y'all know that Ahmed Persian is my son. Mm -hmm. Ahmed Persian, and 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 I, I have to I have to say this. Ahmed Persian was a beloved little dude at one time. You can ask some of my companions back in the day, Ahmed was a sweet dude, man. Okay. Politics have a way of destroying your inner. Yeah. Okay. Politics have a way of going in there and take everything that, that is valuable between you and the law firm dollar and tearing it apart. Mm. Rank, for power, for worldly, for whatever. So, you know, and I, you know, I don't, I don't know what, what this interview is going to do going forward, but you have to speak the truth. And I'm with MJ with that. And that's why MJ came on because MJ wanted to address his faults. So I'm addressing mine with my kids. I brought them here. I brought them to this thing, okay? Thinking that it was going to be good for them. Getting them out of the streets. I don't want to raise them in the ghetto. I don't want to raise them in the streets. That was a good sell for me, okay? Mm. But I always told my kids, don't get caught up in nobody's personality. Yeah. Get caught up into a Sulawesi Slam's personality. You won't go wrong there. I mean, you get caught up in his personality, you won't go wrong. Okay, so I, mean, I, I want to say that to, to to my kids, to 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 please. I mean, for Allah's sake, you know, learn what Allah dollar wants you to learn so that you can be all right with him. That's what that's what's important. That you be right with a loss on doubt, okay? Don't put your hopes and your dreams in something that you have no idea if it's going to happen or not. Okay? That's what I say. Mm. I'm I met this thing here, this TMO th TMOA thing is a family business. And you're not family. Okay, you're not family. So when mm. things go wrong, your ass is going to be in trouble. Your ass is going to be thrown under the bus. That's what's going to happen. When things go wrong, you ain't family. You got to go. And you will be sacrificed. Just like a whole lot of my peers and a whole lot of my friends have been sacrificed. And Jafar, that's why I asked you, I was, told you I wasn't going to respond to question seven. Yeah. Because yeah. they were victims too. Exactly. You're right. You're right. So I'm saying, I'm saying that, you know, I say to my family, be Muslim, be Muslim, you know, you know, the, the Christians, you know, they, they do all kinds of stuff because they open that Isa Alayhi Salaam is going to save them and take them through, take them on the agenda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That concept sound to you. How, how does that concept sound to you when Rasulullah Sallallahu didn't make no promises to nobody about Jannah? He didn't make no promises. When he told the Sahaba that they was going to Jannah, he got it from Allah Sallallahu yep. It came from Allah. He didn't just make that up. He didn't just say it because, yeah, I'm tight with Allah. Mm -hmm. No, it came from it came from Allah Sallallahu Alaihi You tell so-and-so and so-and-so that I'm going to grant them Jannah. But you know yeah. what? Even after he did that, they still feared a loss from father. They still exactly. were humble. They still were humble. Even though they promised, they were promised, they were still humble. We have to be very careful with this arrogance. Very careful with this arrogance. Mm. 